Well, good day. This is Jared Olar with uh, Pekin Public Library. Today, instead of uh, being in the local history room, we're going to try something different. This is the local history room storage archive. This is not a public area of the library. Uh, we don't allow the patrons access to this room, but we have a lot of materials in here that are um, just really can't be put out for display, but which need to be saved, uh, either matters of the library's own history or the history of Pekin, the history of the county. Uh, other matters of Pekin history. Some of these are books that are uh, kind of delicate, kind of fragile because of their age. Uh, some are uh, newspapers. Uh, we've got a lot of backups uh, as well. We have spare items for the uh, from the uh, Pekinians, the Pekin High School yearbook. Uh, we've got backups of the history of Tazewell County and a few other matters here. We have backups of Pekin City directories. So we, in addition to the ones we have for public display, we have uh, also got several backup spares in case things wear out or um, things get misplaced. We uh, can always turn to our um, backups in this area. I wanted to go ahead and just highlight this area because this is kind of a mysterious uh, part of, or somewhat semi, kind of a semi-secret area of the library and that it isn't for public, dis uh, uh, public use. But if t somebody does need materials, some of the things that they may need for research, we may have them in here instead of out in the history room. And so then one of us could be able to come in here and get through the locked door which we have open, propped open for uh, the benefit of this video and get things out. I'm going to go ahead and get some things out and just show you briefly uh, some of the things we have in here. I'm going to might move out of the camera angle for just a moment, just one second here. Okay. What I'm holding here is a copy of Roots City Directory of Pekin, 1861. Now we have a photocopy of this available for public use in the local history room. We also have a reprint that the Tazewell County Genealogical and Historical Society produced, a paperback reprint that can also be used in the local history room. That's a bound copy. The photocopy is uh, loose leaf in a folder. Uh, then the, the uh, reprint, the more recent reprint, is just in book format. This is what they reprinted. This original, 18, this is an 1861 original. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but we actually have the Ex Libris stamp. The owner. W.H. Bates is the owner of this book. W.H. Bates of Pekin, Illinois. And those of you who read the local history room uh, blog that we have, um, that I actually produce materials for every week, uh, and also uh, the same material, the same articles are then uh, posted, uh, are, are also published then in the Pekin, the Pekin Daily Times every Saturday. Those of you who read that may be familiar with his name, others may just know his name just because you know about the a little bit about the history of Pekin. Uh, William H. Bates was the pioneer historian of Pekin. This was something that was that belonged to him and his daughters donated them to the library many decades ago and we've had them ever since. This is a very fragile book and so it cannot be in, uh, for, available for public use. But nevertheless, this is something of his. See right here, this is why we can't have it for public use. These pages are loose. There are several of them in here that are like that. Naomi E. Root published a Peoria City Directory before he published Pekins. And Root decided to do one for the city of Pekin in 1861. This is the only one that Omi Root ever did for, uh, for the city of Pekin. And then a few years later, William H. Bates and his uh, colleague, a uh, business partner, uh, William Sellers, produced the Sellers and Bates Pekin City Directory in 1870. So it was 
uh, approximately a decade later before another city directory was produced. To see how old and fragile it is, you can see again. This is why we can't have the public use this. Let's see how bad the binding is. Okay. In addition to the root city directory from 1861, we have William H. Bates's copies of the, the city directories. And those are in even worse shape than this one. The binding is still in relatively good shape here with the help of some tape along the side. Uh, the others are, which we got over that way, uh, are in rather worse shape. So these, unfortunately, the public can't use, but we have them. Um, these are not only uh, important items to, uh, for those who want to research the city of Pekin, the history of, uh, the, history of the city, but they're also, in and of themselves, these copies of themselves are relics, uh, kind of historical relics from uh, Pekin's own history. So we are honored to be able to hold on to them and be able to save them and preserve them uh, for posterity and to make copies available for public use in the local history room. Well, that should do it for this week. Uh, I thank you very much for coming along with us on the last for the last few weeks in these videos and taking a uh, being able to uh, uh, explore with me some of the uh, items we have in our local history room collection we look forward to seeing you when we reopen uh, God willing next month in the meantime we hope everyone stays safe and healthy God bless <laughs>